Hey, Tim. Hey, you talked to Mark lately? Uh, I haven't really talked to him, but he looks pretty uh, down. <laughs> he looks pretty uh, down. Yeah, well, maybe we should cheer him up then. What do you uh, suppose we should do? Well, does he like butter tarts? I was lying on the grass a Sunday morning of last week, indulging in my self defeat. Good morning, CE Cole, and welcome back to what is a beautiful Wednesday morning. Happy Ash Wednesday to those of you who celebrate. It is March 2nd. That's right. We are moving closer to spring. You can feel it outside. I can't wait for that weather report from Mr. Hurricane Payne. Anyway, today is a day three, I'm pretty sure, and it is also chicken or popcorn chicken for lunch. Anyway, let's hear from Mr. Payne about this beautiful weather today. Thanks, Mr. Ravinger. That was fantastic. AC Cole, welcome to Wednesday morning. Here's your weather. It's going to be a warm one today, 54 degrees. We got a mix of sun, a mix of clouds, but overall, a very nice day to get outside. And tonight, the temperatures are going to go down to the upper 30s, around 38 degrees. That's going to be your low for tonight. Our question of the day is come from Angelina Paulino, and she asks Mr. Payne, Temperature changes, does that affect your health? Yes, it does. And there are some studies out there as we're starting some temperatures really fluctuate. Freezing temperatures over the weekend. Cold temperatures on Monday. Now today it's 54 degrees. Then we could drop down into the 40s and into the 30s at the end of the week. So temperatures are fluctuating. And how does that affect your health? Well, scientists have found that when cold temperatures that can really make your blood vessels contract, and that really messes with your ability to respond to infection. So one of the reasons that people get sick a lot more in the wintertime is that your body's just not able to fight off infections and viruses as easily as it is during warm weather. Now, I guess the problem with warm weather is allergies, and it's not just because it's warm outside. It more has to do with that you've spent so much time inside that your body is having a hard time adapting to the different allergens that are outside uh, when warm weather comes around. You're, you're, you're able to be outside more. And then the last one has to do with thunderstorms. Thunderstorms can also cause a lot of allergies because you have a warm front and then it's, it's pushed out by that cold front. That's what happens with thunderstorms. They have a cold front moves in and that stirs up all those seeds and all those allergens that can be out there that your body can inhale. And it also is a change in baromic uh, pressure. So if you have like arthritis or anything like that or a bad knee or a bad back, you're gonna start feeling that because your bones start to contract and expand a lot more when you get that drop in atmospheric pressure. That was a great question, Angelina. That was something that everybody should know moving into our fluctuating temperatures here as we approach spring. C.E. Cole, have a great Wednesday. Mr. Reininger, back to you. Thank you so much for that weather report, Mr. Hurricane Payne. Now, I wanted to show up on something to back up Mrs. Willis here. You know, we do have Cole Olympics coming up soon. Hopefully, you're answering those questions now. If you want it right here, right by the gym, if you look, we are near where the Cole Olympics board is with all of the winners, all of the record holders. So next time you're walking by this area, hopefully, you can take a quick look here and see what records you might be able to break. Don't forget to answer those questions this morning. Make it a great day or not. See you call the choice is yours. We'll catch you on flip flop.